Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel and welcome to another episode of Janice Dickinson's Modeling but this woman is dirty. I will never, never tire of calling it that, to be honest, my loves, and screaming that word at the top of my lungs. In an interesting twist of fate, Janice Dickinson has actually made a comeback recently to TikTok and Instagram because she has a song that she is releasing called I Coined the Term, or is it I Coined the Phrase? And it's something about being the world's first supermodel. There we go. And let me just tell you, the amount of people that have sent me that reel of her being like, this is how you model back in the day. A little bit of a power move, but also, I uh, just don't know how I feel about Janice Dickinson. Nah. So thank you so much to everyone who sent me that reel 48 times each times a thousand. Thank you. <laughs> so my loves, in the last episode of Janice Dickinson's Modeling we saw actually quite a difficult episode play out. There was quite a few things that I feel like we needed to talk about, right? And it made for particularly uncomfortable viewing, I thought. If you haven't watched that episode, you can go back and watch it because it is, uh, it covers a kind of topic and gives me a kind of feeling about this show that wasn't like, this is a high fashion modeling agency. It was very, unsavory, shall we say. The top comment on that video was by Stephen Nicole, and they say, she's very assaulty. Like Saria has invented a perfectly cromulent adjective, and I love it. I love the word cromulent. That is a word that is not used anywhere nearly enough. So thank you so much, my love. Shall we get your beverage at the ready? Today I'm on the Pepsi Max. I've fully had too many energy drinks. Today is episode 11, and I'm not sure what the title of this one is. What is the title of this? It's something like, uh, she knew it, reunion is gout. This woman is dirty. Should we get the tea ready to completely scald ourselves with and see what's happening this week on Janice Dickinson's modeling? <laughs> Previously on the Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency. Previously on the woman on the game. The oh yeah. Satisfied clients. It's not good for the girls to be too thin. Hit Janice and Peter. It really was quite shocking to hear that actually, because back in the day, everyone had to be rail thin. Oh yes, this fight. Tonight, the agency is losing business and money. What a surprise! Because Janice is terrible at this right job. Now, I'm in the red. The agency must open its doors. To oh, so we've got the infamous just before the end of the season. Oh, we're not doing actually very well. Episode in which then maybe at the end she'll be like and triumph. Oh, the season one was so good. That. Okay, let's get the next set of monsters in, please. In an attempt to find models that can help turn the business around. Some of the people that show up are just insane. And when one... How many more casting days is this agency going to have? Have they just reset to zero every episode? Well, guess what, Mimi? We did. On the Janice Dickinson modeling agency. Oh, we got some tea. Some tea girls. Oh, no, not tea girls. Tea girls. Do your gout. I'm an awful agency woman. Do your gout. That is a horrible wig. Do your thing, whatever it is that you do. It's very appropriate for Janice. <laughs> what? Oh, she's dead. We just lost a huge client in Fredericks of Hollywood. Right. Because we didn't have any models to fit their needs. Right. That cannot happen again. And for us, the same thing comes up in every staff meeting. Where are we going to find the models to get us the clients? Our models can't walk, none of them. And they don't know how to pose. They barely know how to speak on camera. Barely. I agree, but this is the So whose fault is that for hiring every single person that apparently isn't a very good model or not putting them through model school or model training? If you don't have good people working for you and you've hired them, Whose fault is that? Um, with our agency right now, we have all new faces. We need to get some serious working models. They need to get all new like faces, new so... Calls. Get on the phone, baby. Stop talking to We'll do it. Work it. So I gave Cody a few days to set up a casting call. It's last minute, so he'll... She is resetting. She's resetting the agency back to zero again. For goodness sake, what is the storyline in this season? They're just like, every episode is like, and on this brand new season... This woman is dirty. It makes no sense to me. We have to draw locally from the Los Angeles market. Oh, Hopefully, we can find some A-list models this way. In the meantime, Peter and I are trying to focus our business resources on the... How easy is it to find, like, a diamond in the rough, do you think? Do you think it's, like, a one in... 
a hundred thousand chance to be able to find like that one supermodel that hasn't been discovered yet. Do you think it's, do you think the chances are that low? Because it sounds like they're trying to find like the diamond that will turn this agency around. And it's like, maybe they should focus on actually getting a business up and running first before trying to find their raison d'etre. Oh, I've cracked the code, oh, girl. girl. she's got a degree. Models that are making us money. Our first step is to set up a shoot Matthew with one Anderson. of my favorite photographers, the great Matthew Anderson. I've done thousands of shoots with him, and he is absolutely... So Matthew Anderson had a bit of a scandal on America's Next Top Model uh, regarding blackface, but also he was RuPaul's makeup artist for, what, like 20 years, I believe? Also, hello, sunshine. The sunshine has just decided to come in and destroy my lighting. Oh, dear. Where is it coming from? How dare you! One of the top tier photographers in the industry. This shoot top will tier. not be inexpensive for the agency. But my hopes are that. Oh my god! Oh, sorry. No, I completely misunderstood. I thought down here was doing like list of executive producers on the show, but no, it's just list of Matthew Anderson's subjects of photos. We'll build the girls' portfolios and oh, demonstrate their range to potential clients. Okay. I wasn't nervous until now. Um, just because I really want these pictures to turn out really well. The girls that I will be sending are Stina and Brittany. Is this the first modeling challenge that we've seen in the whole season? As in like, we're actually going here to get good headshots of someone to show their range. Right, like why, why else is Matthew Anderson photographing these girls? Surely this is for the, the agency to sell them to potential clients, no? This woman is dirty. Why is this only happening now in episode 11? Does anyone in this show know how to run a business? Patrick, Crystal, and last but not least, Trisha. Come back to me a little bit there. Uh, Matthew can pull out of models who they really, truly are from, like, the core of themselves. Okay. Like, I try to just... But, like... Oh, look. He I found out that Trish loves being sexy. She loves being the Bond girl. We would have never known that. Just like her standing in front of us, going, "I want to be a model." I feel sexy is what I'm in front of the camera. Hang on, though. Aren't they always saying, or isn't Janice always saying, like, "I don't want hoochie mamas," but then immediately goes and makes them dance and do like shoots like this. This woman is dancing. Where was Trisha Myers when that guy was like, "We need a sultry girl"? Like what? <laughs> It just brings something out of me. That's that. Good, good. Oh, I hate that I'm fake sure camera noise. Yes. <laughs> Most of my ideas are to do more with lighting and creating a mood. I want yes. to contain the shot more here. Today's like a test for me as well, just to, to try out some ideas, which is, you know, the nature of creativity. So is this a test shoot? As I lose all my hair back here. Part of this process is going to check over their hair and see what needs to be done. We're taking it from neckline to there. Right. Right. Crystal's my baby. We knew the most important thing with her is making her a complete blank canvas. And cutting all her hair off, as drastic as it sounds, we knew it was the right move and we knew it was something Janice would approve of anyway. Making her have that complete androgynous package really sells her as that kind of it girl model. When you're photographing a girl, it's what she... Do you think? Do you agree? Do you think? Do you agree? Do you think? But do you agree? I don't think. Looks like, but almost right. more importantly, what she is like. Was this during the era of Erin uh, O'Connor? Was this during that era of like the androgynous supermodel of the world girls? And I watched some of these girls today. Actually, because I do not feel like they've just made her look like a blank canvas. <laughs> nice. You want someone who's just listening to you and feeding off you rather than trying to second guess you and read your mind. She does look gorgeous there though. Oh, I love like black high class outfits. Anytime I see someone wearing them or a photo shoot with it involved, I'm like, yes, fashion. Oh, the world is safe and gorgeous once more. Chaos, pixels, death. Justina, we don't really feel like I want to put a lot of makeup on her. There's something so very natural and healthy about Stina. It's all about her, like her athletic body and her like glowing face. I feel like um, I'm ready to do this. Yes, but what is the point? Fluffy along, Christina. That is beautiful. Oh, I think it's really cool that 
they're running around and trying to look me, make me look the best that I can, but just still nervous. You look like a deer in hand. Ooh. Oh, that's very fun. Hey. He hates it. With that, we got a little ambitious with our lighting setup and we got a bit mired down in it. He hates it. He hates every moment. To the guillotine. guillotine. Death! Within a fiddly technical landscape, it wasn't such a good thing for her. Matthew, what is the look you're going for? <laughs> the look is Eastern <laughs> Block home. <laughs> We've got some pretty pictures of her that will work for her, but you can't always hit the mark, so you get as close as you can. But look, are you a ballerina? That sounds like a very interesting critique, doesn't it? I don't quite know what's going on in this episode so far. We're six minutes in and I'm just like, we're having a photo shoot. Maybe I've missed something and I haven't paid attention, but it's like, we're having a photo shoot for... For what? For headshots for the agency? This feels very like a filler moment. Welcome to the No Pimpia Chanel. Oh, we need to be seen to be doing photo shoots, so we're going to be going off and doing one today, like a test shoot for everyone. It seemed that Brittany had a bit of a theme going on. She just has a certain sort of like fairy like quality to it. We started with the branch to give a texture, and we kept the branches to sort of tie her pictures together. Brittany is our glorious little freak. The red hair, the white skin, the whole thing. This looks like a real model. It's amazing. It's like something you would see in a French Vogue magazine. Okay. I don't even know if there's words to describe how I feel seeing Brittany look like that. And it's like a, a dream of hers being realized. We're done. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Has anyone so far in this show been paid anything? Apart from in the first episode where we saw the agency get paid in that really weird um, thing that Peter did that he was like, he met with the shoe lady. <laughs> and they were like, yes, here is your pay. And Peter was like, thank you. Has anyone been paid for anything? <laughs> Janice Dickinson's Confusion Agency. After the shoot, Peter informed me that Fargo needed to speak with us. You're not speaking, oh, Joe. We just need to know what happened. Right. Fargo called me the night before, basically telling me that Brittany and her mom were thinking of leaving the agency. Brittany is one of the few models that we all agree can make us money right now. Losing her like this would be quite a blow to the agency. I would like to know about this young lady who we really love and her mother. And I know that you guys went out yesterday to sort of tell Janice what the conversation was about. What's she got to do with anything? Because her daughter got many callbacks from Vegas. And then she's feeling that there's, com there's competition and she's feeling that maybe she can do better. Put it. Oh. Did, did she say that? Did she use the words that she feels she can do better in another agency? This is serious because I'd really like you to be precise with it. Okay. Well, basically, all she was saying, the mother is concerned because she wanted answers about is she going to be signed to this agency. She can see things. through so your nonsense, Janet. She said, she said, if they don't give me any answers today and if they're they're refusing to work with us, then we will go to LA Models. We'll go to... This woman is dirty. Why is Fargo here being spilling all the tea when it's not really anything to do with her? Like, she's not related to this woman. She's not related to her daughter. It's very strange that they've kept this in because in any other work industry, like... You're allowed to bitch about your work to your friends. I suppose you shouldn't really bitch to your colleagues because colleagues are never really... Are, are colleagues ever really, like, fully ever, like, best friends? I feel like it's very good to be cautious of who you're expressing... Dis, not disdain, that's a bit extreme. Cautious who you're expressing concern to when it comes to your workplace. Do you know what I mean? Don't ever confide in your management something that could potentially be used back at you. Be careful with HR. HR are also very similar. But also, why is Fargo being like, Oh, she thinks she can do better. Uh, sowing the seeds of discourse, are you? Any of those other people that call her back to, to get what they want. Oh, this is very America's Next Top Squirrel. So I telephoned Brittany and asked that she and her mother be brought into the agency. I telephoned I her and then I beat her to death. To have them tell oh my God, that's the same outfit we just saw on 10 years younger. Oh, look. Oh, gorgeous. 
that it would only be fair to have them tell their side of the story as well. Their side of the story? It's only theirs. I'm hearing that you were concerned about not being paid and that you were going to visit another agency over there. Not being paid. Not being paid, sis. If I was doing non-paid work for you and you for a second came, uh, like, telephoned me and called me into the office to be like, so we hear that you're thinking about daring to leave this agency even though we're not paying you? I'd be like, yes, of course I am because my career needs to be adequately compensated for my talent. You can't just use me for free. What a weird, very weird, very weird. And that you were going to visit another agency over at LA Models. You know, I would be pretty stupid to not follow up with every option for Britain. It's, it's kind of backstabbing in a way. No. I'm sorry you felt that way. Nothing was. Oh, I, I'm, I'm very, very, way. very upset about it. I'll be, I'll be honest. I'm they, sorry you felt that way. That I'm going to be a problem, and Britney's going to be a problem. There are other options, and we'll go. No, it's okay. fine. We'll go. Coming up. Oh. Peace. The Janice Dickinson Agency. Britney and her stage mom have been telling the other models that they are thinking of- I don't think her mom's being a bit of a stage mom, do you? I think in this situation, actually, her mom is talking sense. She wants her daughter to be paid for the talent that she has. How is that being a stage mom? In this instance, anyway. They are thinking of leaving the agency. Yes. So she just wants to model. Yes. And I want you to model. And you should But model. I don't want to pay you. you. Born to model. There's no malicious intent whatsoever on any level. I believe you. Then I'm yes. going to really ask you to stop talking about uh, options or other contracts about your daughter to my other models. Buckle, bu buckle up. Bu bu sure. Buckle up. Bust, bust, buckaroo. Okay. okay. This is not your fault. You don't need to cry. Okay. This, is nothing, this has nothing to do. And this all could be a misunderstanding. It happens, okay? okay? Let's move forward. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> be confidential about your careers. Go out there and be a star. So everybody knows we want to be here. We're choosing Janice. But should Janice decide to drop her, she wants to be a model. We're, we're going to have a backup plan. Ooh, that was not done in a way that inspired me. Did it inspire you at all? I don't like the way that Janice tried to crisis management there by sort of saying like, Shut up and get on with it. That's very telling, I reckon, of the industry at the time. Like, don't express any discontent or dis or concern because you will be kind of like blocked. Did we just get a little peep behind the curtain there? The magic behind the curtain. I have an amazing shoot booked in Puerto Rico. Yes, I'm still a supermodel. So I oh. took the children to Universal Studios so we could spend some quality time before I depart. Oh, of course you did. And this is why we're watching it. Because this is to do with a modeling agency. Wow. I'm actually going here next year, I believe. I believe it's November next year. I'm going with Roly and also Novimpia. And I cannot wait. I'm so excited to experience a an American theme park. I've never in my life. And if there's one thing apparently Americans can do very, 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 very well, it's theme parks. Yeah, everyone can be able to grab my mom and just want a picture. It's a little annoying. Well, yes, unfortunately, a celebrity mother. I want to just go in Jurassic Park. That's all I want to do. Well, we've, been, we've been here for two hours, we haven't even gotten close. Oh. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it's not that bad. You it's don't bad. feel it. I'm really scared for most of the rides because I can't do roller coasters. She's oh. one of She's miserable. I don't want to make her do something she doesn't want to do. She doesn't want to do because she doesn't know how good it's going to be. It's not a roller coaster. It's not. It's, it's, it's just fun. do it. See? No, you're fine, Savvy. <laughs> it's kids. What a sudden and strange turn of events. Like that, they can't go on. Yeah, come on. Uh, the whole time I was like, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Splishy splashy. Another modeling photo. Beautiful. In between being an agent and a mother, I still have a career as a model. I have an Lovely amazing shoot that footage. takes me to the beautiful beaches of Puerto Rico yes. for the cover of Escape magazine. Escape. Escape. I arrive in a limousine in beautiful San Juan, Puerto Rico, and immediately went from the airport right to the beach where the photo shoot is taking place. It's so nice to be the model as opposed to being the agent just for one day. I'm Janice. Just for one. So Welcome to Puerto Rico. So today, I went and worked with Ivan Batista, oh, wow. the most famous photographer in all of San Juan. Wow. Over here, right I love here. It, man. Is he? You kind of stuff us there. Working. Excellent. Excellent. There you go. What's this? What? I've had all those other 
bitches these poses, by the way. This great one of photographer and model connect. And I really connected with him today. These are horrible, horrible photos. These aren't even real photos. They're photos that are like pretend photos from the actual Janice Dickinson modeling agency camera crew. These aren't even the photos that we're seeing, but the way that they're just kind of like, terrible, terrible. It's just like, it just kind of sets the tone for the entire season so far, doesn't it? Just very confusing, highly questionable, and a bit terrible. Card done. That's his Christmas card. <laughs> oh, and we're back. Turned out, Frederick so Hollywood was a serious setback. Well, so what was the point of that? And we can't afford to lose a client like that again. Most of the models we have right now just aren't pulling their weight. This agency is in need of more top-end models, and since we're planning on making some drops soon, we decided to hold another open call. You haven't done okay, anything let's get yet. Let's the next set of monsters in, please. Anytime you do an open call, monsters. you may not find anything at all. You're, I mean, you're really looking for that diamond in the rough. Where are you from? I'm from Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. I don't know. I'm kind of like in the Jesus kind of like yo yo yo. <laughs> do you know Curious George? <laughs> America, they're not so beautiful. <laughs> Otherwise known as our open calls. What delusional world are these people living in? Everyone's got a dream. Wow. Some dreams really need to be crushed. Some people are very delusional. It's Ooh. funny. Not funny, ha ha, more funny. God, get not me out funny, of here. Not funny, ha ha. What's your name? Funny. Oh, Weird. Oh, she looks so 2000s. What exactly are you meant? Um, 34, 25, 36. 36? Mm-hmm. Sure it's 36? Yes, it is. The level of delusion, <laughs> I don't, I, I can't really wrap my mind around sometimes. No. Oh, no, 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 yes. Yeah, you're about a 38, 39, you know. I, you know, 38, 39. God, you make me feel fat. Well, I'm not as upset as last time. Like I said, you're going to see me again. She'll know. That was a bit disgusting wasn't it weighing her and assessing her delusion and then saying that instead of a 36 she's a 38 and her response immediately being like god i'm so fat this woman this woman is not considered overweight <sighs> gosh these shows were so difficult because how many people how many young people at this time would have watched this show because this was a modeling show on tv i think adults at the time would have been able to see through this nonsense i feel like i probably would have if i was an adult when this was on air but if i was an early teen let's say 12 or 13 years old watching this thinking oh fashion and janice dickinson i've seen her on america's next top model this is a modeling she's an asian she's a real supermodel she'll know what she's talking about and then they were to see things like oh 38 waist is fat that's so detrimental. And it's these constant little sentences that are said throughout these shows consistently that really affect the way that young people think about themselves and their bodies. And it's so insidious. And it was rife. It was everywhere. It was on every show. My face, eventually, I'll be here enough time. Oh, oh pixelation. My baby's got that grill. Let see grill. The open calls, they are such long days because you have to look at each messy, disgusting human thing after another. They're not even Some could say the same for you, Gabe. Who are you? The Gabe. Gabe. What's up with the... Uh, it's kind of scary. You didn't do your hair. Yeah. Oh, that's just great. Hello, young man. Too Did you do your hair for a casting call? Well, if you know, then why are you here? There's mirrors in that holding area where we keep the Wait, what did she say? Hello, young man. Too short. I know. Well, if you know, then why are you here? There's mirrors in that whole thing. Everyone's allowed to dream. Keep the cattle. Sometimes you have to look yourself in the mirror and go, why am I here? I'm wondering if we should be more explicit with, with the requirements we're looking for. Let me tell you something, Junior. It's equal opportunity. Yes, I understand it's a waste of time, but I'm giving them the courtesy of standing in line all day. That's just the way it is. Coming up, I think she's too tall. The casting continues. What? If that's not like a bit of power gone to the extreme overboard, too much enjoying the fact that she can make people stand outside for an opportunity to get on TV and make it big. I don't know what it is. The Janice Dickinson. Six, six Cody, what do I do? I think she's too tall. We asked too Cody tall. to put together a local casting call in just two days. And unfortunately, we have literally not found one potential model yet. You all have great faces and great vibes. Audio, terrible audio again. 
Okay. Where's it's Claudia? for me to just sit there and go, no, 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 and see the looks in the eyes of these kids that have hope and strength and belief that they can be models. What makes me Pope? Can you uh, take your take that off for me? Ooh. You gotta lose the nipple rings. They're not gonna work in this I know. Why did you do that? What's up with you and all your bruises on your knees? Looks like, you know, what? what I work at Sugars. What's that? What's Sugars? It's a gentleman's club. What, so you're on your knees when you work? Well, you have to crawl around the stage, you know? Well, baby, why don't you get knee pads? You can't walk around naked with knee pads. I think right now we're kind of running short of real quality people. There's always a few diamonds in the rough, uh, but today it seems a little bit harder to find those diamonds we've had in the past. How old are you, Carol? 49. 49. And where are you? I think she's very pretty. I still think we need to do more casting calls. Uh, we need to see as much talent as possible. So, you know, we saw a lot of people today, so it was long and uh, it didn't get tired. Did they pick anyone? Necessary. Too short, too short, too short, too short. Oh, the reality is, is in LA is just a picked over market. If you have what it takes to be a model around here, you're probably already signed with a major agency. In the future, we're gonna need to get outside of LA. Yes! And scour the rest of that America makes sense. for our next big model. I think I said that kind of earlier. It's like, how many diamonds in the rough can you find before they're not already picked up by everyone else? And I must also admit, when I was younger, if I'd have seen something like this at 15 and seeing her go too short, too short, too short, too short down like a line of models, I would have been like, yes, yeah, she's right. Janice Dickinson, come away. But now like with adult eyes looking at it, I'm like, how cruel is that to be like too short, too short, too short. But like, if they were explicit about what they needed, it's re it's a really difficult industry because like there is some level of like, you kind of have to be honest and be like, if we're only looking for people who are six feet and over, why is someone who's five foot eight here? Do you know what I mean? Like, I understand that. It's still difficult to watch though. Come in here, ladies. Just right. stop right there and turn around. Today, the girls are seeing the photographs for the first time oh, from the Matthew, the Matthew Anderson, Anderson photo shoot. shoot. My hope is that Matthew's photographs will help me to sell these girls to the high fashion clients. In the so this episode was actually nothing to do with modeling at all and more to do with like a time for print practice shoots in which we will use the images we've made as calling cards? Is that what they're called? They've got a name, haven't they? Little modeling agency cards. What are they called? Is it calling? It's not calling cards. It's... Ah, uh, my brain has gone blank. The future. Trisha, come here. Only Trisha. Trisha. Look at yourself. What do you think of Oh, Trisha? listen to the uplifting okay. music. Those shoes hurt my feet, my ankles. Trisha, you need to eat, sleep, and live in shoes. It's the crux of a model. Trisha, are you able to do this? But there are such things as comfortable heels as well. Like if a shoe is so incorrect that it's damaging your feet and then you have to go to another shoot in which they put you in shoes and go, we're going to be taking photos of your feet in shoes. Why are your feet so hideous? Because of another shoot and shoes. Like this is, this is not a self-fulfilling prophecy of success, is it? Those are some nice photos actually. Those might be the best photos we've seen so far in this entire season. And it's probably because Matthew Anderson did them. Right here. Thank you. I think Janice finally sees my real potential. With the and uplifting music. Really Come here, love. Look at a supermodel. It was just what is the point? Amazing to see myself in a photograph that looks like it could have been in a magazine. That picture could have been. You're not Wasn't. Hair, makeup, lighting is everything, but there's nothing coming out of your eyeballs there. No lasers. And I'm a very analytical person. Death! Death! So I was being too structured and too analytical when I was doing the shoot with Matthew. We can only take you so far. It's up to you to bring yourself to the next level from whatever comes from within you. I think Is she I off to the electric chair? In front of the camera and more comfortable with myself. Was that a little bit of a Tyra Banks moment there? Like, I've only got one photo in my hands. The rest of you are off to the lava pit. Was it very that? Was that what we've just seen? Or at least this show's attempt at what that is? Patreon. Good. Okay. Let's see this. What do you think, Petra? I don't like it, but I don't love she it. She hates them. Why? I don't know. Big mistake to say that you don't love it, because if you don't love it, how am you going to expect me to love it? I'm in love with that photograph. Why don't you love it? I don't know. 
I'm missing something from myself that should be there. That's what's working about the picture, that it's not emotional, that you're not overthinking, and that you are placid and you're being a model. When I saw the pictures, that meant... It's like they can't win. They really can't win, because on the shoot day, they were like, you're not being very good. We need more from you. And then they've shown a picture to Janice. And before Janice has reacted, she's like, what do you think? And she's like... Huh, like basically reserving the emotions that she was felt or fed in the shoot and the Janice is instantly gone, well, you're wrong. This woman is dirty. How can any of these models win? She's 18 years old. Janice is what, like 703 in this? Ah, ah, I was the world's first supermodel. So it's like, of course she's not in the position of power and she's going to feed off of the experts in the room. But this is reality TV and not actually a modeling competition or a modeling show or an agency or in fact anything to do with modeling at all. It took of me I was surprised because I thought they were gonna come out even worse than they actually did. So I guess that was good. That was the positive of it. <laughs> Crystal little girl, wow. Crystal, you're the most versatile girl in the agency. I want you girls back Hate here to hair. hear it. Crystal is a complete package. How do you feel about that photograph, Crystal? Like I don't even think that's me. Like I looked at it. Hang on, how long is her fringe there? Wow, so her fringe there has been styled very, 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 very straight. But here, it's like grown out. It's got a bit of a curve to it. So how long after this haircut photo shoot is this like review the photos? Because it kind of looks like it could be like a month, maybe even a bit longer. I'm really proud of the photos, but no matter what, it could always do better. It's like there's always room for improvement. Again, what was the point? Oh, here we go. All right, With guillotine, electric chair. Brittany's mother, I wanted to set aside a special time that evening to surprise Brittany with the great photos that Matthew Anderson photographed. To bribe really her into working for nothing. Okay, get ready. But I'm dumb. Here we go. This is your daughter. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ugh. That is amazing. Oh my god. The pictures Matthew did for me are just amazing. I can't believe that that's me what drives this industry. Maybe is... like two of them are nice? Sorry, am I? Am I being a bit cruel here because, okay. That one girl that comes along every uh, so often like a Kate Moss, like a Giselle. Models that were born to model. That's what you are. Oh, you should you. be crazy. That is, so that's proud. a lovely photo. I just really am that's great. a good photo. I'm really proud. I know me too. You guys, and there's not really words to express. I know I can say that, but there's really not. Thank you for choosing because we did know you had other offers from other agents. Hang in there with us, please. We're growing and uh, we'll grow together. And I'll make sure that your daughter's covered and protected. These photos are going to help us book the models on high-end jobs. And that should mean high-end commissions for the agency in the near future. Should which mean. Which is important because to get to this point, I've had to ask and rely upon Peter for the loans. I don't know at what point I'm going to be out of the red. But right now, I'm in the red. As a result, Peter and I are going to drop the models that aren't making us any money. It's going to be so painful, but it's just something we have to do to survive. Next time, oh my god! The oh my god, I was speechless then at the end listening to her monologue about nonsense. I always forget how quick these episodes go. I was like fully ready to be like, yes, and who's going to die? Well, my lovelies, I have some thoughts about this episode that we have watched today. What the actual fuck was that? So we ended up watching a sort of model mayhem style nothingy photo shoot that's meant to what exactly? I'm not exactly sure. It was meant to inspire us to think, oh yeah, she's really got what it takes to make it in the industry. But that's to us as viewers who have no stake in the industry whatsoever. Specifically, the situation with Brittany, her mum, Fargo and Janice was kind of a little bit strange because at the very end there, it sounded like they were trying to bribe her to stay with the agency by being like, look at this gorgeous photo that we've what? Commissioned of your daughter? I don't get why that was there. Why was that there? Because that doesn't inspire. That doesn't inspire like a situation that makes me feel that she's going to get work in the industry because it's been 
technically paid for by the agency. This whole episode has been very, very confusing. This whole. Let me know what you guys think about what we've seen in today's episode uh, in the comments box below because I'm uh, truly baffled. I'm so confused by this episode. I don't know how I'm going to title this video. I'm so confused. Anyway, my loves, it's time for the Patreons and you can see yourself scrolling past here on the screen, my lovelies. Yes, you can. And today's Twitch shout out goes to Sarah Lele. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is like Sarah plays and I stream two nights a week, my loves, Mondays and Thursdays. And once again, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Aloria, Dr. Dream Morella, Luke Peterson, Stephanie Diotowski, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Dr. A, Jevod, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jen Martin, Jennebeth Herman, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Laura Jane again, Les Banana, Lisa Pennington, Min Min TM, Moisten98, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Rachel the EC Biscuit Romano, Ryan Vita, Sasha Smith, Sexy Taxi RN, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, Travelful, Tromo, Victoria Carella, and Orcos Samoji. Thank you guys so much for continuing to support this Chanel. It is wonderful to see us thrive and survive and grow together. Ooh, that sounded a bit Janice Dickinson's modeling butt, <laughs> didn't it? And you know what, my loves? I'm gonna leave it on the note of please pay your artists. Pay your artists. It's not, no one wants to work for free and I'm tired of pretending that everyone kind of has to be like, oh, it's me, I just really cared about... Pay your artists, sis. And with that, I will see you in the next video. <gasps> yes. This woman is dirty.